Hello everybody. Welcome to another Dhamma meeting where we will discuss the Buddhist practices of charity, morality and meditation. Everyone who is interested is, is welcome to join. Please send in your question one at a time. Please be brief and precise. Also, please let me know how the audio and video is doing today. I'll start reading your questions and your comment. Tony Yip Satu Satu Liberty Lee Good Day Pante Kwan Batum Napa Satu Satu Check Ling Tan, greetings, Tanajan. Your sound and video are clear. Thank you. Kenan Han, good morning, Tanajan. You are clear. Thank you. Christine Koe, good day, Tanajan. We have Sammy Rich Pinel, but still risky in Samsara. Yes, you should stop your desire, your cravings and stay put, meditate, don't go anywhere. Alexander Aroka Satu Pante. Picture and sound are okay, thank you. Can attend key bulk. Greeting Ajahn, may you be well and happy. Audio and video is good, thank you. Shio Aishan. Dingli. Tanajan, I am so glad to see you again this week. Thank you. Liberty Lee Pante, why do our society keep thinking giving birth to baby is a must Due to delusion, not knowing that giving birth is causing dukkha to arise, suffering to arise. Delusion blocks the, the mind from seeing the truth. Seeing opposite of the truth. Seeing dukkha as sukha. Seeing suffering as happiness. Fendi Aung, good afternoon to the John. Sound and video clear, thank you. Tony Yip, hi to the John, good afternoon. Audio and the video are in good condition. Thank you. Check Ling Tan, dear Tanajan. I heard from my friend Kunjuk that today is your fourth and ordination anniversary. Yes, I was ordained today in 1975. So it's 48 years now that I've been a monk. But it's just another day. Yulin Go, Satu Satu. Kwan Liman, Yetanajan, with respect. How to get deeper to the mind when the mind is calm and still in meditation. That's the deepest you can get. When the mind becomes calm, you don't have to do anything. You just have to maintain your mindfulness to keep the mind still and calm for as long as possible. Hui Hua, good afternoon, Ajahn. Hope you are doing well. Thank you. I am, I am doing okay.
Vibhati Li Pante Vasyo Vivon Mahayana Bodhisattva View. A monk supposed to involve in layman's works become famous and rich sattu. No, monk was supposed to aim for nibbana, for liberation from suffering in this present life. A bodhisattva is not something uh, useful to have right now because it will delay your enlightenment for a very long time. Buddha said, ordain, become a monk, and then practice the Noble Eightfold Path in order to become enlightened, in order to reach Nibbana. In this very lifetime, either seven days, seven weeks, or seven years. So to, to work as layman or to become famous and rich is not the goal of monks. Chayani Yamada, good morning Prajan, good morning to you. Gan Wang, am I reading it right? Gan Wang Satu, Chiu Hi Shang. I just finished Tanajan book, Beyond Birth. It was so great, it gave me a lot of insightful teaching and immense encouragement. The Tanajan switch your meditation object to Bhutto after stay with Dongta. I use many different techniques depending on, on the condition of the mind. Normally I, I maintain mindfulness with the body and when I sit I use mindfulness of breathing. But occasionally when I felt that I need more concentration then I will switch to the mantra. Uh, or sometimes I use investigation into the three characteristics of existence. So when you practice things, when you move forward, you will notice that you need to change in order to, to get better results. Ayi Namasagan Tanajan Satu Rusli Alamsaya Namasagan Liajan. The video field is sharp and clear. Thank you. Alvin Lee Wei Ping. Good morning, Tanajan. Thanks very much for your profound Dhamma teaching. Satu Satu. You're welcome. Men Moya Satu Satu. Ayi. Tanajan, when we succeed in controlling our desires, for example, we succeed in eating only one time a day or refraining from drinking coffee. We feel happy because at least we can control our desire. At that time, it's a feeling that arises, it's an arrogance. No, it's just a, it's just a happiness that you have achieved something that you you, you, you aim for. It's not considered to be arrogant. It's just a result of having succeeded in, in your endeavor. Christine Koe, dear Tanajan, all of us very happy to meet you in person. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Chi Chin Chuan, Nia Jan, why no Dhamma Abu so fierce in teaching Dhamma, where Ajahn, as Ajahn teach in calmness to this produce of diff different students. Yes, uh, no Dhamma, he taught to the monks, he, he act very fiercely in order to, to tame the defilements of the monk, which are much more uh, forceful than lay people. With lay people, Mukta tend to be a lot more, uh, a lot less fearful because he knows the defilement of the lay people are not as forceful. And if he applies 
fearful technique, it can cause them to collapse. So he he he, he used different technique with different people. I.e. question number two, Dhamma discussion Q and A number seven, twenty twenty three on Facebook. There are words from Tanajan which when hear them make me stunned for a very long time. The code is that being number one or number ten, we die anyway in life. Everyone wants to be number one, and that. Could fused to me like water that wakes up someone who has fainted. Did Tanajan ever feel this when Tanajan was still a layman? I cannot recall if I have the same feeling that you have now or not. Pasana Chunasevi, good morning, Pajan. Everything is clear. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I.e. question number three, please Tanajan, teach us how to let go of attachment to the people we care about. You have to constantly contemplate on anicca impermanent, that sooner or later that person that you cling to will have to, have, have to be separate from you, or you separate from them. Contemplate on the cessation of life, impermanent. You are or the other person. One day we are going to have to be separated forever. Matt Moyer, wish blessing for the family of Punyanat I think this is the footballer, the young boy who died in in England, I think. Yes, wish the boy goes to heaven, if it's possible to wish. Matt Moyer, thank you for the English Dharma teaching. You're welcome. EOSC, Satu Anumodana Ajahn, very grateful for all your Dharma session and also the amazing arms around on Sunday morning. You're welcome. Shio Hishang, Satu, thanks, Tanajan. In my and its endless rebirth, you said that Sotapanna and Sakada Gami can finish their practice in heavenly realm and do not have to come back to human realm. Does it mean that those known ones have the choice to make whether they want to come back? to the human world or not. Not necessarily. What I mean what 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 I said means that they could continue on with the work, whether as human or as Deva or as Brahma. It depends on the condition. Sometimes there might not be a condition yet for them to be born as human. But if they are striving to to reach nibbana, they can they could continue striving in the form of spiritual being, not necessarily having to have a human form in order to practice. Kim Moon Chu, good afternoon, Ajahn. Good afternoon to you. Lean Lim Satu Satu. I.e. question number four. I once read a quote that it is better to live alone than to associate with people who do not bring good in friendship. Maybe it can be like that. But as parents have an obligation 
to educate the children to be good people. But if the child is very difficult to advise, why the child is still immature, so that we as parents can possibly not educate and leave him. What should parents do in dealing with a child like this? Do your best, try with, with loving kindness. Try to help the child, teach the child as best as you could. But, not, but if you don't get any success, don't feel dejected, don't feel disappointed. It's not your fault, it's the child's fault not being able to learn from you. Liberty Li Pante, recently one of my bro brother passed away due to kidney failure, but I somewhat feel happy for him due to he no longer in Dukkha. Others are still in grief. Is Jana Aichi when a Sotapana passed away? Is Jana one achieved when a, when a Sotapana passed away? My brother is a good man, Satu, Satu. I don't understand your question. I don't think that this is a question. It's just a comment. Adeline Chin, good afternoon, Tanajan. Happy to be listening to your Dhamma teaching. Happy to see you again or to read your comment. Jay Chudasama, good afternoon, Ajahn. Thank you for English Dhamma. You're welcome. Chi Chin Chuan, dear Jan, how to be consistent in mindfulness and meditation? Someday I can do well, someday I am lazy. Please advise, thank you. You need to stay in an environment which is more stable, more consistent, like living as a monk. The conditions for monks every day is, is more or less consistent not changing like the conditions of lay people. As a layman, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days, because you have to deal with different situations. But as monks, we usually don't have much changing conditions. Our, shit, our situations are pretty much the same every day. So our practice could continue consistently. That's why if you want to achieve enlightenment, the best way is to become a monk. Okay. Question from Paul Lim Pinan. Seeking your guidance, I am 70 years old. I am clearing my mundane affairs to live a quiet life and to focus on the Dhamma. In the process, as thoughts of past deeds and misdeeds are coming up in my mind, what should I do? Should I leave this thought and let go of them rather than focusing on the past? Yes, you should not worry about the past. And the way to let it go is to use a mantra. Keep reciting Bhutto Bhutto when you start thinking about the past all about the future. Your goal is to be without any thought, just be merely knowing, because your thoughts are more harmful than beneficial to you. So try to stop thinking as much as possible by constantly using mindfulness, either by reciting a mantra or by focusing on your body activity.
น้อมพลินสาธุสาธุช่วยด้วยอาจารย์ I feel better meditation at home than in retreat as there are many people around I can't concentrate much but more more disturbances at home I cannot sit for a long time so you need to go to a a silent uh, individual retreat go to a monastery where they allow you to live to practice alone not having to practice in a group. You need to be alone in order to, to succeed in your meditation. If you are around people, they can become a hindrance to your practice. p a s i c h u m satu satu, c h i c h i n c h u n dear John, I am obsessed in collecting amulets. Will this cause bad karma? It is neither good nor bad karma. But it doesn't move you forward, and it doesn't move you backward. You just you just stuck where you are. You're not going anywhere. So stop collecting amulet and start collecting mindfulness instead. Mindfulness is very useful. It will lead you to samadhi and wisdom eventually, and enlightenment. c h i c h i y a l i l a Satu Satu, i.e. Question number five: If a person who has attained sotapanna dies and then reborn as a human, will he get married? He could. He still have desire to have sexual partner, sexual activity. So if he reborn as human, he will still. He will still like to have sexual activity. Only after you become a uh, an anagami, that's when you have no sexual desire left. Then, if you still remain as a human, you will not marry anymore. s h o h i s h a n how many monks currently under t a n a j a n training now? Does t a n a j a n still accept new monks? Actually, I'm not an abbot here, so I don't really have any monks under my training. I only teach dhamma, and if they like, they can read my books or follow my teaching. And but I do officially, I have no monks under my training. And I cannot accept new monks. Monks who come to live in this monastery has to get permission from the abbot. I'm just one of the monks, one of the boys. I have no power in accepting or getting rid of monks. Manji, question from Manji: Is it good to donate organs once a person dies? Is this good deed and can go help others? It is good deed because people benefit from your giving, but you yourself don't really benefit anything from this giving because you do it after you die. You can only benefit. The gift of giving when you're still alive, like right now, if you give blood, you will, you will benefit. You will have merit. You will feel good. But when you die, you don't know whether you have given anything or not. So giving after that isn't good for the 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 giver, but it, it is good for the receiver, no doubt. c h i c h i n c h u n Is it because a j a n wants to avoid extra responsibility as a b b o t to fully focus on meditation? 
my one Mangala Sutta mentioned. That's part of it. And another part of it is probably because I like to be I like to be alone and not to get involved with people if I can't help it. Because people can be sometimes uh, troublesome. But I like I like the time I like to have the time to to teach Dhamma, really. This is my goal right now, is to teach Dhamma for as much as possible. If I take up the position as abbot, I would have to be responsible for the administrative responsibility, which can take away all of your time. When you're not abbot, when you, nobody come and, and bother you. Once you become abbot, everyone who wants to do something in the monastery will have to come to see you for permission. Then I wouldn't have time to rest, wouldn't have time to do the Dharma teaching. Right now I can set up the time to meet people. Like, like today, I will, I'll give Dharma talk at 2 o'clock. That's when I'll meet people. Or in the morning when I go to arms round, I meet people then. But the rest of the time, I just put up a sign in my 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 kuti that with visitors are not welcome. Sorry. Tanya Mami Satu Satu Chi Chin Chun. I like Ajahn's teaching because you use simple English and very straightforward. Maybe because I'm just simple and straightforward. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just do what is comfortable for me, what I find easy and comfortable. The point is to get the message across, that's all it is. And the, mes the message is simple in Buddhism. Sometimes we get lost in our path to enlightenment, becoming involved with so many information that we don't really need to know. I.e., question number six. A friend of mine once said that he heard a monk say in lecture, that a person who has had an abortion will be reborn as a chicken for 500 times. Sorry if I misheard. Is it really like that for someone who has had an abortion? What good deed should she do so that her akusala kama vipaka is not burden burdensome? Whatever you do to someone else, you will be you will reap the same action if you perform if you do abortion, then maybe in your next lifetime you will be aborted when you're in the womb. So that's usually the the law of karma. It's like the uh, what you call I can't do when you do something you'll get something back the same way. If you kill, you will be killed in your next lifetime. So stop killing right now. If you don't want to be killed in your next lifetime. But what you had done already, you could not erase it. You will have to face the consequence in your next lifetime. But if you stop doing killing now, then eventually you won't have to die of killing when you reborn again. Adeline Chin, dear Tanajan, I used to suffer from OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Need to see things in a certain way or manner. I noticed that maybe things that used to bother me are having less impact on me. I keep telling myself that no matter what, I can't change how things are and how, th how things are and I just have to live with it and accept it more and move on. That's a good thing, right? That's the right thing. 
The goal is to be not disturbed by the, the happenings of the world. Let things come and go. Don't try to try to manage them. It's not our ability. We don't have the ability to manage things to our satisfaction. So just let go. Manage the things that you can manage. The things that you cannot manage, then just leave it alone. Vita Vandana. Ajahn, I noticed that at the arms round, people only put white rice in your bowl. What about some curry? Curry are usually put in plastic bags or some some containers and are separated. If they are put in the same in the bowl, it will muddy up the whole thing. The food and the rice will be uh, uneatable after you finish the arms round. So usually they put only the rice in the bowl. The rest of the food are usually are in packages, in containers. And they usually put it in on the cover of, of the bowl. I usually flip the cover of the bowl up to receive the other stuff. But the white rice will go into the bowl. Chi Chin Chuan and and the John is very honest. If you know you will explain. If you don't know, you will say you don't know. A John will not give such speculation answer. Because it's useless to speculate. And it might be misleading. So it's better not to to tell something that you don't know. Patanapon Bosuk Satu Satu Nabiti Namasagana Jan. Tanakwan, Vetulan, Ayubut, Kapaja, Chiang Mai. Ayuboan, I think she wishes me happy ordination birthday. Happy ordination day. Thank you. Tan Siu Hong, Satu Satu. As you get older, you start to notice the remaining years are getting less and less. And you're starting to count down your lives. You don't usually live beyond 90 or 100 years old. So if you're 75 now, you only got about 15 years left at the most, more or less. So life looks a little different than when you're younger. When you're younger, you keep looking into the future for better things, for brighter things. But when you get old, you don't see anything bright in the future. <laughs> you see something dark waiting for you. But that's okay, that's the way it is. It's like the sun, it rises and eventually it will set in the evening. Rise in the morning and set in the evening. Birth is the same, birth and death is the same. Birth is the starting of the day, and death is the end of the day. Tan Siu Hong Satu Satu. I.e., question number seven. As a Buddhist, is it better to have a Buddha table altar to remind us that Dhamma and meditate? It's better to just do bucha by practice. You don't need a, a shrine. The Buddha said the best way to honor him to bucha, to give him bucha, is to practice following his teaching. Chi Chin Chuan, I am already 47 years old, and one day I realized I have three more decades to live. I was scared if I have not done enough for my next rebirth. You still have lots of time left, so you better start doing more now. 
It's never too late to, to start doing your practice. Because enlightenment can come at any time, seven days, seven months, or seven years, or seven weeks. But if you don't do any meditation, any practice, enlightenment will never come. Question from Carol, Caroline Neal. If I, if I don't pronounce your name correctly, I'm sorry. Caroline Neal, Singapore. Question number one. What is the difference between consciousness and spiritual? Well, see, the mind is a spiritual being. And consciousness is one of the quality of a spiritual being. The spiritual being on the mind is conscious of everything that's happening, not the body. The body doesn't have any ability to, to be aware, to know what's going on. Deborah Rosenfeld, I'm having a hard time mentally letting go of a sport I used to love and did for many years, but can no longer do physically, satu satu. You can take up a new sport, which called meditation. It's much more easier and you can do it regardless of the condition of your body. By starting reciting the mantra, do some chanting, and then sit and meditate. Close your eyes. If you cannot sit, if you are physically unable to sit, you can lie down, lay down and meditate. You can do meditation in any posture. But ideally, the best posture is sitting or walking. Sitting is the best for meditation. Walking is good for mindfulness. Ali Hassan, good day, teacher. Thank you. Question number two from Caroline Yen Yeo. When a person likes to do a lot of dana, too many temples, and support the Sangha, but after she used up her money, she will start to desire of wanting to make a lot of money again, to be able to continue to support the temple and the Sangha. Can this person achieve vipassana? No, because this person is stuck with dana. The goal of dana is to do it until you have no more money left. Then you will not be burdened with having the money or looking after the money or managing the money. So then you will have more time to do vipassana meditation. So when you already have done your dana, then when you have, it's time for you to practice mindfulness and wisdom, then you should do that. Dana is only a step toward enlightenment. Once you have achieved this dana practice, when you already give up all you have, then you will then have the time to go and meditate. So don't, don't get stuck with dana. Dana is for you to Reduce your dependent on money. Don't don't use money to keep you happy. Because sometimes you run out of money, and instead of being happy, you can become miserable. The goal of dana is to reduce your dependent on money. So when you don't depend on money, then you won't have to go work for more money then you will have the time to go practice meditation and vipassana. Kwan Liman, dear Tanajan, I have stopped working for about three years and spent time practicing. I see improvement in my practice and I feel calm, contented and happy, but also concerned about financial because of not working, but I will still like to choose to practice. Yes, 
if you really have to continue practicing and not working, then you have to go live in a monastery and work for the monastery. Uh, live in the monastery where this will support your practice. Some Thai forest tradition monastery will allow women to live as mechi and don't have to pay for anything. If you can live as a mechi and live simple and not expecting anything, just leave, just get, take what you are given, then it will not be any problem. Then you will have all the time to practice and not worry about the money situation. Meta Vandana. Oh, I skip Rusli Alamsia. Sorry. Rusli Alamsia. Yeah, the world would say happy birthday and not happy that day. Why would I actually the same? But for the last birth, it would be the last of the bodily suffering. My humble bow down. Meta Vandana Ajahn, I am trying a piece of. But eating before noon is becoming a challenge since I have a lot of work, a walking routine. Please advise. Well, just keep this precept. Just keep the seven precept, and this one you just have to, to skip it for now. Usually, keeping the precept is more for people who's not working anymore, who has all the time to do meditation practice. So. If you cannot keep all the eight precepts, just keep as many precepts as you can. And skip the one that you cannot yet keep. Any lamb, Satu. Then Thai Petagoa. Namasagan Jaka, Satu, Satu. Meta Vandana, thank you, Ajahn. Alexander Aroka, to think that we have a self condemn us to be at the mercy of the desire of this false thought. Yes, you're right. You think of a self, you condemn you to the mercy of your desire. To, to satisfy yourself. Once there is no self, then there is nobody to satisfy. There is nothing to do to protect this, this self. Then you don't have to do anything. Yen Yen So, dear Tanajan, Rish Tanajan, stay healthy and well. Thank you. Question from Justin, California. I am working on being a better human every day, especially in my life journey as the Buddha. How do I show mercy when, a, when it comes to a situation such as an argument? How do I show love and mercy and kindness? without getting overly sensitive and angry. By trying to be a good listener, just listen to what the other person has to say, and you don't have to react to anything. Just be merely knowing. Practice ubeka or equanimity. And when you have equanimity, you will, you will have loving kindness toward that person. There's no need to, to react to everything that a per, that a other per, person does. 
sometimes if you feel that you are acting, reacting angrily or emotionally, then you should stop your reaction. But you should leave the person alone. Let the person say or do whatever that person wants to say or do. For you on your part, you just keep on watching. Don't react. That's all. And everything will pass and be gone. And no hard feeling will arise. Ah, yes, thank you very much, Tanajan, for your teaching. You are welcome. Eli Hassan, Ajan, why is it meditation might still flow but cannot go further? Life board anchored, just to let it be, right? Yes. You still have to focus. Keep focusing on either your breath or your mantra. Don't stop yet. Just keep on going. Continue to recite the mantra or keep watching your breath. If you haven't yet reached your destination, which is perfect, perfect calm, stillness of mind, stillness of thought. Kanokwan Rachelan. Permission to ask question. She wants to know when I ordain. Did I find anything difficult to do? Not really, because I do what I can, what I did, what I could. I didn't try to do more than what I could not do. So you just have to work from where, where you, from where you, from where you can do, and keep increasing more and more, gradually. Meta Vandana, please stay healthy, Ajahn. I will see you in summer. Yes, I will see you then. I'll probably see you before in Zoom or in this Q&A meeting, I hope. Stay in touch. Being close to the Dhamma teaching is beneficial to the mind. It helps to soothe and calm the mind and brings back some sense of normality in life. Chi Chin Chuan, dear Jan, do you have a chance to meet Lung Po Li Vatasavagara? No, he passed away a long time before I became a monk, became, before I know anything about Buddhism. I think he passed away in the year of 2005, I think, in Buddhist calendar, Buddhist year 2505, which I'm not sure where it must that. 62, 1962 or 63, I think, when he passed away. Panokwan Reshulam, Satu Ajahn, Wong Sri Lam Satu. Meta Vandana, thank you so much for your teaching, Ajahn. You helped me because me become more mindful. I am very grateful to you. You are welcome. Sunny Lim, good day, Ajahn, Suchan, and thanks for sharing the Dharma with us. You are welcome. We have another 10 minutes left for this meeting. So you can still send in more questions. Wong Sui Lan Satu Satu. Ayi Namasagan Tanajan Si Jinim Satu Satu Sulian Ui Satu Ajan, happy to see you again. 
happy to see you too. See you writing anyway. Meta Vandana, Sulan is not here today. Yes, she just she just signed in. She says, Satu Ajahn, happy to see you again. Bruce Lee and Amsiya, thank you very much for today. Dear John, you're welcome. It's always a pleasure to be able to sit here and discuss the Dhamma teaching with you. And very happy to, to know that you can find it useful and help you advance in your practice. Dean Swan, Tanajan, can you advise, could a healthy 55 years old guy be accepted for ordination and the number youth lineage? I think so. The, I think the, the, the age is not really the, the main concern. What, what's the main concern is your commitment and your ability to, to practice or not. So age can become a, a, a hindrance because the older you get, the harder it is for you to, 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 to practice the, mon the monastic codes. But if somehow you can follow the monastic code and you have true commitment, I think the person who ordained you will accept you. But normally they would like to see you, put you on a trial basis for one year before they will let you give you the ordination or not. Christine Cohen, dear Tanajan, do you, do you know Rumpong Kanha under Ajahn lineage? I heard of him, but I never met him. Chi Chin Chuan, thank you for your teaching, dear Sajan. It is like a weekly reminder for me to learn Dhamma. Good day and goodbye. Satu. Corinne Kaur, Satu Satu. C.G. Lim, Tanajan, recently I received some money that was a loan from my late mother. I have donated the money to the Watts and hope the merit of this donation will benefit my late mother. Is this possible, Ajahn? Thank you very much for your teaching, Satu. You can dedicate or share this merit with her, but the merit, the merit actually belongs to you now since the money is more or less yours, not your mother's anymore. Your mother, if she wanted to have the full merit from giving this money, she would have to do it when she was still alive. Kwan Li Man, Tanajan, if sitting quietly at a place and observing what is happening in the mind, okay? I mean not to be in sitting meditation, me, but just sit and be quiet. Be mindful, you have to be mindful. Make sure that you don't think wherever you are. Try to reduce your sound as much as possible. Uh, if, you, if you want to think, then you should think in terms of the three characteristics of existence. Okay. Bruce Lee, yes, dear John, sit at the back, relax and enjoy. Yes, dear John, sit at the back, relax and enjoy Dhamma, mind pleasure. 
So anyway, dear John, how about if we give money to our parents and then ask them to donate? Then the man will be less. No, it will be yours because you just ask them to do it for you. If you want them to get the marriage, you cannot tell them what to do with the money. It has to come from their own decision. If not, they want to keep the money and spend it on something else, then they have the, the right to, to do so. But if you tell them to do, to do a particular thing with the money, then you are actually asking them to, you, to do you the service, that's all. So if you want somebody to make merit, you can just give them the money and it's leave it up to them whether they want to do it or not. Deborah Rosenfeld, when you spend time with friends who don't know Buddhism, how can you steer the conversation toward wholesome, not stressful topics? That you. And unfortunately, I don't think you can, because people will say things that they like to say. So if you don't, if you don't like to listen, it's better to remove yourself from the conversation altogether but trying to steer somebody to, to think of something else, then this, this is not possible. Eva Chakma Satu Satu. Sulanui, thank you, Vajan Satu. Okay, looks like that's about all the time I have for today. Thank you very much for your participation in this Q&A meeting. I hope that it can benefit you and help you advance in your practice. In the meantime, please stay safe, mindful, and keep on practicing the Dharma teaching. And if all goes well, I'll see you all at the same time next week. Thank you and goodbye.